links into the outro. So that last little bit there, fifth string bend on the second fret, open fifth string, second fret the sixth string, then open second and third strings. And now the second string stays open during this outro. It's a little bit of a turnaround sort of sound. So you slide on the third string up to the fourth fret while you play open second string. And you play the second fret of the first string immediately after that. And then you go back to playing the second and third string. So fourth fret, third string, open second. Then you move from the fourth fret of the third string down to the third fret of the third string. And instead of alternating, you play twice and then second fret, first string. Carrying on, descending line from the fourth to the third, now to the second. So second fret, third string, open second string, second fret of the first string. And you do that same little sound as before. So two, and then that one. So in total for the outro. And then open second and third strings, and then hammer on to the first fret of the third. Then you play 2nd fret of the 1st string, open 2nd string. Then you play open 2nd string, 1st fret of the 3rd string. So this is all just going around that E chord again, on an E7 sort of. And then bringing that finger back so you're doing all 4 strings, but it's not E now, it's E7. So 2nd fret, 4th string, 1st fret of the 3rd string, open 2nd and 1st strings, and then you let that go for a beat or two, play the top 3 strings, open 1st and 2nd, 1st fret of the 3rd, and let that go for just another beat before you play them and stop them. And that's the end of the song. given you the story, I've given you the tab. Should I risk trying to go through it once more, knowing that it doesn't scroll the right speed? Um, if I put the speed up, will it go jerky or will it be okay? So let's try 1.1 speed. So I'm going to give it a try. You're getting one more rendition out of me.